everyone. Today we are going to make a mirror cake. And it's that type of cake where we're gonna pour over a shiny frosting. It's gonna look super awesome. Hey, just wanted to remind you that um, to be reading and to uh, continue to log your hours on for summer reading and um, continue to do and watch videos and activities that we've been posting here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ingredients that we have for our mirror cake. Okay, to get started, we are gonna start making our glaze. Um, and our first bowl, here you need a lot of bowls for this. Your first bowl has um, unflavored gelatin and water. And we're gonna make that up pretty far ahead of time because it has to bloom. Then our second bowl is going to have powdered sugar, water, and sweetened condensed milk. And our third bowl is going to have white chocolate chips. Okay. I've also been baking a cake and I've got that cooling in the freezer because we need to have a nice cold, smooth frosted cake. So the next set of instructions was to take our powdered sugar and evaporated milk and microwave it for one minute. So I've done that and I've stirred it and then we're gonna take the gelatin and water mixture and we are going to dissolve that into that mixture. So then we're just gonna stir this until it completely melts. Our next step after this will be to microwave that bowl of white chocolate. Okay, the next step is to melt the white chocolate chips. I've done that and I did that about 30 seconds in the microwave and stirred, another 30 seconds in the microwave and stirred again. Then what we do is we take these melted microwave white chocolate chips and put it into our bowl that has all of our other ingredients in it. And this time we're gonna whisk it in. So, pour it in. Okay. And then, we're going to whisk the white chocolate in, okay? So I'm going to continue to get that all mixed up and then we're almost about ready to add our food coloring. Hey, so we are back. We have added our gelatin, we've added our white chocolate chips and right here in the bowl we have been stirring it and what we're going to do is we are going to add equal amounts into each of these four cups. Okay. We're doing plastic cups so that we can just have a small enough amount. So we're going to pour and try to be as equal as we can. And I've been thinking about the colors I want. So I'm going to do purple and I want purple, but I only have red and blue, only primary colors. So I'm going to do red, blue, and then we'll have one that we're not gonna add any coloring to, so it's just gonna stay white. And this is really messy, so it's okay if you make a mess. So there's our third one, and then here is our fourth color, or our fourth mixture. Okay, I think that one needs a little bit more. Okay, so then, we're gonna get out our food coloring. I'll be right back and then we grab it. Where did it go? Okay, so here we have red and we've got blue. So we're going to squeeze some red food coloring in. Okay. And then we'll stir that up.
Okay. We've got red. I'm just gonna leave that there. Then we're gonna do our blue. Squeeze some in there. And then we'll mix up our blue food coloring like that. Okay, all right, so then our next step is we see our cake that we have right over here, okay? So, we've got our cake, and remember, um, you're gonna need to make this cake way ahead of time, make sure it's completely cooled, and frost it with buttercream frosting, and make sure it's really, really, really smooth, okay? And then, after I did all that, I even put it in the freezer so that it is completely smooth. Hey guys, so we're back now. This is our very last step. I got a big bowl here and all of our frosting's going to get layered into this bowl and then we pour onto the cake. So um, we're gonna do it really carefully and I'm gonna kind of maybe think about the, the pattern that I want. So I'm gonna start with purple. I'm gonna pour some purple in. And then I'll pour some white in very carefully, and then I'll pour some red in. I'm gonna try a pattern here, maybe. And then we'll try the blue. That'll be our last one. Okay, then we'll just go backwards do the red. Okay, so we'll pour the red a little bit more white. And lastly, the purple. Okay. So, now we're gonna take this carefully and come over to our cake. Now, just so you know, I've got this setting on a rack and then I have something to catch all this extra frosting. So, we pour it, starting at the middle, and we go out, go around in a circle so we can start seeing all of our colors. Pretty cool, huh? All right, and then we're gonna come over here because there's a little bit on this edge that we didn't get. So I'm just gonna pour it right there on the edge the little spot here we didn't get. There we go. Let's turn this around and make sure we got all the other sides. Oh look, here's some that we didn't get. This will look really cool right over here. And there we go. Now I might say, oh, hey, maybe I want a little bit of a pattern over here. Just a little bit different. All, every cake is gonna look a little different. Okay. Now this is gonna need to dry for quite a while. And then when it's ready, we'll be able to eat it. If you had sprinkles, this is the time you could put some uh, really pretty sprinkles on. I didn't, but do whatever is best for what you have. So anyway, this is our mirror glaze cake. I hope you enjoy.